I was just wondering if what your thoughts were, uh, you know, discussing at the Actums 2020 meeting, the contribution of relapse recovery to long-term outcomes of multiple sclerosis for you, Dr. Baker. What are your thoughts about that study? Yeah, I think, um, you know, as you, your approach to treating relapses, I think is excellent because you're bringing the patient back and you're evaluating how they have improved or not, or not improved and then driving home that that recovery and you know, you know getting them treated and then getting them uh, into rehab and and uh, minimizing uh, disability and so we've 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 looked at sort of these uh, these these clinical demographic paraclinical predictors of of long term disability and one of those is at least or early on in the disease course within those first three years relapses and lack of recovery or incomplete recovery back to baseline. So um, as part of the, the longitudinal study at Brigham and Women's, the CLIMB study, they evaluated this. They looked at those patients who had relapse within the first three years of disease onset and classified them into a group of, of complete recovery. So EDS has changed six months later of zero or incomplete recovery. So greater than zero, so 0.51. Et cetera. And, and what that showed was that those patients who had incomplete recovery, there was an association with higher EDSS. So those that had complete recovery, lower EDSS, and also age of onset. So we know the older we are, the less uh, able our nervous system is to heal and, and compensate. So the take home there from the, the authors of the, the poster, uh, the researchers was, uh, you know, it's important to treat relapse, identify it and maximize recovery as, as much as possible and don't get old. Yes, yeah, so that, that concerns me because I'm 59. You know, I read about <laughs> immunosenescence and me being 59 and then you know, they talk about that at 55, definitely uh, brings up that point and it hits home hard for me, absolutely. Oh, so is uh, it so is it is it is it forty five or fifty five? Because I heard forty five, and I'm forty nine. Oh. So I've been thinking I've okay. been immunosenescent for five, the okay. last four years. So. Okay, so I don't. I, I was. I, I thought it was fifty five, but. I, I, mean, I, I like 50. I'll take yeah, 55. I think, yeah, I think, Matt, that you should definitely yeah, go with my my definition. Yeah, I think yeah, you should yeah, go with my definition. It. 